Hey guys, welcome to your Pick a Card Love Reading. Today I thought we'd do something fun since it's Friday and uh, we're just going to do a mystery read, okay, in love for you guys. So um, again, the energies that come through, um, you know, it's going to be for the general collective out there. So, you know, you'll have to take these piles if they resonate to you and, um, you know, if you're feeling drawn to them. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to, we're going to pull and see what uh, the universe kind of wants you guys to know here. And this could be like past love. This could be new love. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be a mystery read, right? So uh, first time doing one, you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, yeah, let's dive into pile one and I will have the timestamps below. Hey, pile one. Welcome to your mystery love read. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to pull a couple cards and see what the universe wants you to know when it comes to uh, your love life here. All right. Okay, first card we have out is five of cups. Okay, the chariot. The queen of wands. Okay, right away. I think this is like, um, there's, there's a little bit of message for you here, pile one. Um, it's almost like saying, uh, if, you, if you've kind of found yourself in this state of like, I don't know, it's a little, mm, it's a little sad. Okay. Um, I do see your love life is about to pick up. Okay. So I don't know if you guys are single, how you resonate with that, or if you know, you're kind of getting over some past heart heartbreak here. Um, the universe is basically saying, yeah, it's, it's about to really pick up because listen, this is the, the hidden energy around you right now. And it's the queen of wands. So, um, you know, you're really stepping into your own here. I feel like if you guys were kind of in this energy, it's about to like fast forward over here to the queen of wands. So again, like, um, yeah, I think you guys are about to have some sort of glow up here or you're possibly already having one. Okay. Let's keep going. The chariot. Yeah. See, listen, this is where it's going. There is a king of cups energy around you right now and I feel like it's like a fast forward like this person's coming in hot okay so again this could be somebody from your past here um, could be a water sign that you're dealing with here um, but anyways I'm just gonna say male or female this person's highly attracted to you I mean your energy is almost like pulling them in here okay um, and for some of you out there, I do almost feel like this could be a past person because of the five of cups over here. So it could be indicative of somebody that you may have had some kind of ending with here. Um, but yeah, this King of Cups, a lot, a lot of uh, feelings for you. Um, and, and I feel like this energy is coming in pretty hot here. All right, let's keep going. Let's bookending that five of cups. Oh, wow. Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Listen, uh, I think what this is, clearly this is somebody with a lot of desire for you. Um, I don't even, and for some of you, this may be a friend that you, you don't really know um, that's been interested in you, okay? Because the King of Cups can be guarded with those feelings, right? Uh, but underneath the surface, there is a lot of desire, very attracted to you. I mean, yeah. Um, and I also feel like, too, if you guys, I don't know why I just heard that. If you guys have been going through a dry spell here um, and it's kind of left you feeling out in the cold, kind of alone, um, I think that's about to change for you, okay? I think there is definitely something coming in here for you that's going to really... Um, I think you're really going to find out how much passion actually lies behind <laughs> behind it when it comes in here. And again, I mean, this could be days to weeks for you. I'm just getting with the chariot here. There's something that is really about to turn turn this five of cups, whatever this was for you, however you resonate with that, it's going to turn this around. I mean, you see the energy. This is fast forward, uh, love, passion, all that. Okay. All right. Five of cups. Why is that here? justice. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be your justice. Again, if you guys have been through the ringer with somebody here in the past and, and it's just left you uh, feeling like a little hopeless here, this connection, whatever is coming next for you in love is going to be your justice for that. You know, and again, guys, uh, for some of you out there, I am getting that the five of cups with justice was some sort of divorce okay legal separation here from somebody so it's not going to resonate for everybody right uh but yeah there's a layer of that as well and i do think the universe wants you to know i mean it's it's all it's all um downhill for you i mean in a good way like it's it's all about to speed up this train is going downhill and it's it's going fast it's going fast towards this ace of wands so yeah let's pull in the chariot why is that here yeah, it's the fool. 
listen, this is like brand new beginning for you. Exactly what I was just saying. This is somebody that's coming in um, that that really is going to want to go the distance with you here. And I do feel like it's going to be some sort of justice for some of you guys out there who had to deal with um, a really bad situation in the past here. Okay, this is like brand new energy here. This is a whole new beginning for you. Um, let's keep going. Queen of Wands. Yep, that's it's the world. That's exactly it, Pile 1. This is a great reading. Um, I'm going to tell you, if you've been resonating with this at all, uh, there's a cycle closing out for you um, on this. So again, if you feel like you were wronged in the past, uh, it's it's moving forward. And the key here is to be open. Okay, it's to be open to forward movement and and not to actually find yourself stuck back in this, you know, this past situation, which we know it's easy to do. I mean, we're all human, right? We we have feelings and emotions, and um, it's easy to get pulled back into that energy, but what this is saying is like you you have a brand new beginning waiting right in front of you and it has something to do with somebody who is going to actually value exactly who you are okay uh, they're going to love and value you and not only that i i have a feeling too this person's going to be pretty hot and they're going to be pretty hot for you i mean we can clearly see that so it's going to be pretty much almost everything that you have been wanting okay all right king of cups tell us more Okay, there's an ending here. Um, Ten of Swords. Uh, so there, there's a couple, couple little storylines here that I'm getting with this. Um, again, for some of you, this could be a person from your past that has held back these emotions for you, um, and that would be them putting an end to this. Okay, and actually mm, starting a new cycle with you here. Okay, so again, a lot of you, this could be a friend that just has these deep feelings for you. I don't know. Um, and for others of you, this actually definitely could be somebody from your past here, okay, that you did have an ending with um, that is looking to start a new cycle with you and actually a new beginning, a new beginning here. Okay, so again, this could be somebody for some of you that, that caused you to be in this Five of Cups coming in to give you some sort of justice here um, about an ending you know, between the two of you in order to, uh, restart this. Yeah. So yeah, you'll just have to take it how it resonates. This is general, right? Uh, all right. Ace of wands, three of wands. Yeah. It's like, uh, it, it really is. There's, there's something really big on the horizon for you guys. And for a lot of you, I definitely heard it, it's an old flame here. Um, but it's somebody looking to come back in, right? And and this is, again, it's a brand new beginning for you guys. Whatever this is that's coming in for you in, in the love arena. Um, it's almost like, if this is a past person where you dealt with the ending with, it's almost like you guys moving forward, okay? It's like she's looking out at this Ace of Wands, this King of Cups has a... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what they've done. Um, but, but again, here, I do see that this person is, is intent on closing out some sort of cycle. And for a lot of you, it was really because they, uh, they just weren't able to commit or open up or, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the three of wands is definitely planning, moving forward, seeing the future here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that there, pile one. And uh, I, I don't know. I hope this mystery read resonated with somebody out there. Uh, you guys will definitely have to let me know in the comments below. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. All right, let's move over to pile three, two. Sorry, I don't know why I said three. Uh, getting ahead of myself there. Uh, yeah, so pile two, we're just going to dive right in here and see what the universe wants to tell you when it comes to uh, your love life. You know, uh, do keep in mind this is general. So if you're not really finding it's resonating, definitely check the other ones. Um, but yeah, oh wow, okay, we have the magician and the hermit coming out. Hmm, the Knight of Pentacles. All right. I feel like for some of you out there, I don't know, there's, there's some sort of cycle maybe closing out of maybe, um, I don't know, this could go, there's a couple storylines here, what I'm getting, um, but I think that this is, you know, your energy here is the Nine of Pentacles. The Magician is somebody who is manifesting, somebody who has all the tools, right? And the Hermit is somebody who is doing self-reflecting. So I am getting for a lot of you, this is your energy here. And I feel like you are manifesting some kind of new love situation possibly, or you're manifesting something here to do with somebody who you're not speaking with. So it can go both ways, right? But 
regardless, I see you sitting as the Nine of Pentacles, which is you, you do have everything you need. So really you're kind of fine on your own. I think for a lot of you, you would just enjoy to be in a relationship here. And so I think that's why you are, uh, especially with the, the blue moon that we had, I think a lot of you have really started doing a lot of manifesting here. Um, and I think that some of your abilities, I just heard some of your like intuitive abilities might be coming online here as well. Um, yeah, there's definitely with the nine nines, this is a kind of a closing out of things. So yeah, let's keep going. What's bookending that hermit? Yeah, I get, you're like, you're manifesting a new beginning. So I will say for some of you, you have been in hermit mode, but it really is only to work on yourself here. I think you've grown yourself. I don't know if you guys have been focused on finances, um, but now it's like you're to the point now where you're, you're ready for this new beginning here in love. Okay. So yeah, some of you guys could have taken a break from, from the whole dating scene and just really... Uh, turn the focus to yourself and I think it's starting to show and I think that your abilities to manifest are actually growing a lot stronger You do see we've got the three major arcanas out. So um, yeah, there's um, Real powerful energy around you pile too for sure. Let's keep going. Uh, why is the magician here? King of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're manifesting this King of Cups type person now again This could be somebody from your past that you're in no contact with um, but this is, it's, it's showing that I, I feel like there may have been a timing issue for some of you in the past when it comes to, um, you know, whoever this is here. And, and for some of you, you have not met them yet, but I am going to go with the, with the one group who has been manifesting a past person back. Um, this would be like a new beginning in love for the both of you here and the King of Cups. I mean, it is you know, there's, it's definitely a mutual attraction energy here. There's a lot of feelings for one another. This is more than just surface level. Okay. So, you know, again, take this how it resonates and, and you could, the person that you're manifesting could also be a water sign here, but, uh, yeah, regardless, I think you're ready for a new beginning in love. I think you're finally to the point where, you know, you've done a lot of self work and, and it's time, right? And, and the universe is, is aware of this. So let's keep going and find, find out a little more. Magician. Yeah, five of wands. So I do feel for some of you that you've been really conflicted um, about jumping back into a, a relationship here. Okay, and so I do think that, again, if you've taken the time out to do some self-work, you are to a point where you're kind of moving past that. And again, you're looking for a new beginning, but I think that you already know exactly what you want this time. So it's not just going to be just anyone will fit the bill. Okay. Because I think that for some of you, you guys have been through, uh, been through the ringer when it comes to relationships. And so, yeah, I think there's, uh, there was a little conflict here, inner conflict. Um, but you've clearly done the work here. I mean, you're glowing as the nine of pentacles. Um, and this King of Cups, I mean, listen, it's, it's like this person, um, is going to see your worth, you know, you've done the work. Um, the thing is for some of you, it's like, I, I don't know if maybe you do have some hangups, uh, that kind of stemmed from past connections. So the important part here is that if you do want this, uh, a new, a new connection, a new relationship, and whether this be like a renewed one from the past, and it's just going to start completely new, um, you're going to, you know, you're definitely going to have to let some of those little hangups go, right? Because this person, um, underneath it all, it has a ton of feelings for you. So yeah, let's keep going. The hermit, why is he here? Yeah, the high priestess. Wow. This is, listen guys, I feel like the universe is telling you like you've reached a new spiritual level here. And again, if some of you have experienced a bad breakup or a bad separation, I think that this was almost part of the plan and it was to almost crack you open to these, mm, to how powerful you actually are. Okay. You, you can manifest a brand new beginning in love. You really can. And it's very, I mean, the fives are temporary. So honestly, for a lot of you, I think you've become aware of what could have possibly been holding you back from, from something great in love here, but this is an inner knowing, um, the, the hermit. And again, if you are dealing with somebody from your past here, um, that you're wanting another chance with, this is also them 
having and knowing as well okay this is somebody if they were in hermit mode and there was no contact with you with the two nines here i feel like this person has seen um they've had some sort of clarity on this connection with you um and there there's definitely a knowing that um this this could have the potential to go to go pretty far here all right nine of pentacles why is that here emperor listen do you uh mm, you guys are really in your own power right now that's what this is it's like exuding confidence i mean i think you almost even like i think that you're so good on your own now um and you have discovered so much about yourself during whatever however long this period's been for you okay this is going to be general but I think you've just grown so much that you really truly are confident on your own. And this could be where the conflict comes in because it's almost like, well, do I actually need somebody? Like, or am I almost better like focusing on myself for right now? You guys have grown tremendously. So I'm gonna say congratulations pile two. Um, let's keep going with the fool. Listen, you have options. So I'm gonna tell you, I think when it comes to to the love arena for you guys uh the options are are wide open to you here so you know if you guys are set on somebody from the past then okay great you know you you can try to go back there and maybe um try things again you know uh, but you're at a different level so i am going to tell you it's going to be hard to reconnect to certain people from your past because you've honestly reached a level of true self-awareness here that um if you're dealing with somebody on a lower frequency, no matter how much love and, and whatever happened in the past, the energies and the vibrations aren't, they're just not going to align here. Okay. So for some of you that, that could resonate. And I, you know, the, the basic thing here is that you've done the work and now you have options for this new beginning. So really, really, really sit down and think about what you want, okay? Um, because again, we, you know, if it's something that we've been thinking about for a long time and uh, we may have lost sight of the, the growth that we've already experienced and so maybe that old thing that we wanted no longer suits us, okay? And it just became kind of a habit of constantly replaying that in our mind even though we've outgrown it. So again, for some of you, you needed to hear that. <laughs> All right, King of Cups, why is he here? Four of Pentacles, yeah. So, um, yeah, for a lot of you, I'm going to say that this is probably somebody from your past that you've been manifesting back here. Uh, somebody who definitely had a lot of feelings for you, but, you know, again, held back. Um, and it's almost like you have been conflicted about whether or not you actually do want them back. Okay, I'm going to go with that storyline here. So, again, if this message is not resonating with you, um, you can check the other piles because I went into this you know, really not expecting um, anything and, and really not really asking any questions other than what the universe would like you guys to know. So this is what's coming out. So I think this would be a message for somebody out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's that. And it's just, it's also, they're telling you like, make sure, make sure this is still what you want. Because right now I'm going to say you're, you're at, you're operating at a really high level. So you do have the ability to manifest this back if you, if you want it. So again, for you, Pile 2, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. And I will say use your own discernment, okay? And uh, really, really uh, put your self-worth up on the pedestal here, okay? So yeah. All right, Pile 2, you will definitely let me know how you guys enjoyed this, this style. Um, again, this was just for fun on a Friday. So um, yeah, I will talk to you in the next one. All right, bye. Hey, Pile 3, let's dive into your reading here and find out what the universe wants you to know when it comes to love. <laughs> All right, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? The Empress. Wow, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so for you, Pile 3, I'm going to say, and, and go ahead and choose another reading if this, is, if this is not for you, but I am going to say there seems to be a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it's almost like there's anxiety and there's a little bit of stress going on for you when it comes to love right now. However, I do think that the universe is saying like, listen, there's no need to stress out. You're the empress, okay? You're shining in all your glory. So again, for some of you out there, I think you need to hear that because um, I, I know it can be hard sometimes, especially if we're single or we're waiting for somebody to come back and it's, 
it's just kind of like a burden. Like, when is this going to happen for me, right? When is, uh, when am I going to find the one? Um, but the universe is saying, listen, it's, it's all an illusion here. You are this empress. So yeah, let's keep going. I want to find out what's bookending her. Yeah, it's six of pentacles. Listen, there's somebody on the horizon here. I, I really am getting the message that you guys, once you kind of detach from this uh, need to have this connection, uh, it's coming in. Okay, there's uh, the six of pentacles, and I, and I feel like it's somebody who's going to give you equal give and take. So again, if you guys were dealing with somebody in the past who was unable to give you, uh, to really give you what the Empress deserves there is going to be somebody coming in that that is okay I think that's pretty clear there and so I think they just want you to know listen I know it's hard but kind of try to let this go okay like go with the flow and put it in in the hands of the universe okay the energy you're in the right energy here okay you're coming off as that so it really is a tiny thing of you just learning how to detach from outcomes here yeah let's keep going what's booking in the nine of swords King of Swords. Okay. Um, so there, uh, there's two messages here. This is, um, this could be somebody from your past. Yeah. That's giving you a lot of anxiety and it could be somebody from your past that did not give to you, that didn't treat you like the Empress you were male or female. Right. Um, so that, that could go for some of you, but mm, I'm getting that this is also another message of the universe just saying, take action to, actively get over this anxiety so for some of you out there if you have been trying to numb whatever this ten of wands stress is for you um it's time to take action and kind of get out of that that energy okay and and you're going to need to in order for this this reciprocity to come in okay because you're almost blocking your own energy for some of you here um yeah i i feel like it's pretty minor though I, I don't think this is something that, uh, I, I just almost think that you're overthinking some things here. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. Nine of swords. Death. Yeah. It's an ending. Put an ending to the anxiety. Yeah. And, and also again on another, another message here, it's, it is, it does have something to do with this anxiety, the stress. It has something to do with the king of swords from your past. Okay. Um, and it really is. I just feel like if you've been waiting for somebody to to show you the reciprocity that you deserve, I think it's the universe saying it might be time to kind of move on from that, okay? Um, because again, you're almost dimming your own light here by worrying about this, okay? So that's going to be for somebody out there, guys. Again, this is general. Um, but if it's if it's not somebody from your past, then this would be the universe reiterating to you to go ahead and close out this cycle of anxiety and that something great is about to come in for you once you do. All right, the Empress, why is she here? Yeah, it's the star. Listen, you guys, I don't know if, if you guys are aware of this, but you are literally shining right now. I mean, that's, this is the way that other people are viewing you, okay? You really have an opportunity for a brand new beginning um, that you're deserving of, okay? This is this is coming in for you. Uh, it's wish fulfillment. and and. This is, it's, I feel it in the energy. I mean, you, you can already feel like we've had a lot of powerful portals and uh, planetary alignments coming up. This is in the energy for you. Again, it's um, a matter of you letting go of things that are out of your control. That's what I just heard. All right, 10 of wands. It's the wheel. It's turning. Okay, listen, I know it may be hard to believe for some of you out there, that you could get out of this kind of feeling of of all this stress and anxiety but the universe is saying listen the wheel is turning in your favor on this ten of wands it's about to be whatever this burden is it's about to be released and then it's going to open the door for this brand new beginning for you in love yeah again i mean for some of you this could be a past person coming back sure i mean we have the wheel it's could be a, a brand new you know it could be an old person coming back for a brand new beginning reformed okay not not in the same energy if they were terrible before right this would be that would be not that um there is a healing new beginning for you coming in so whether this is past person or new person uh the burden is about to be relieved from you and and the wheel will turn okay the wheel will turn for you once I think some of you might have to do like some meditation or, I don't know, I, I mean, 
something to kind of get out of your head here and, and kind of detach from whatever's been kind of holding you back. And then the wheel's going to turn and this will come in. All right, Six of Pentacles. Why is that here? Yeah, Six of Cups. Again, listen, guys, this definitely could be somebody from your past. And if it's not, you do have a past life connection with this person. There is a faded connection coming in here with the star, the Empress, Six of Cups. This is a destined uh, soul connection that you are about to have. Yeah. Um, Six of Pentacles. This is also going to be somebody who is willing to put in the work here, willing to, to give to you. Um, somebody that you're going to know is up to the level of what the empress needs okay yeah a lot of you and again this could be past past person that is coming back in to have this new start with you for some of you it could be a divine counterpart if you resonate with twin flames okay i'm definitely getting a lot of past life energy faded connection type of stuff here i mean this is destined yeah this is big this is big pile three um yeah okay let's keep going king of swords king of cups oh snap um, okay, so for, listen, for somebody out there, this is a brand new person coming in, and if you were dealing with a King of Swords type of person in, in the, you know, in the past that put you in the state of anxiety and worry, um, there's, there's somebody else coming in, and this is a true past life soulmate, soulmate that you will feel a faded connection to. Yeah, it's a brand new, it's, that for a lot of you, this is going to be a brand new person here. Um, for some of you, this is going to be this kind of cold person who was not in touch with their emotions previously to come in transformed as this King of Cups, you know, um, I mean, again, still, again, if this is somebody from your past that was unable to let their guard down when it came to you, uh, this would be them coming back in, um, and trying to make things right here, uh, because whatever connection this is, the other person feels this faded this faded type of pull to you as well. So I think both of you would feel this. Um, yeah. Wow. This was an, this was a pretty great reading pile three. And I think I'm going to leave it there today. You guys will have to let me know what you thought of this style. I mean, it was just a fun Friday reading that I thought we would try out. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely let me know in the comments and, uh, until the next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.